Hey. I'm hosting two consecutive Google Watch game reviews due to a request by my friend Dylan. Okay, enough with the um violation of your ears. Um, since the last review I did had to do with my own game, I'm reviewing my friend's game, which he made himself, which is a lot better than mine because he has a lot more experience. How about we get into it? Hey, you didn't let me do the outro last time. Now I'm gonna kill you. Can I do this outro? If not, somebody is gonna get hurt. Okay, okay, just get out of here. I'm trying to do another review. Ooh, woo, bye. Unlike Stickmon Ventura, Dylan's game, The Landscape, is pretty hard and challenging. Because he spent a lot more time than I did on it. But he also has some pretty good developer skill. If you guys don't know where his channel is, his name is Odd Stuffs, or Odd Stuff, and he posts some pretty interesting videos that make you think. And so check him out, I'll probably credit him at the end of this video, and maybe in the description. I'm just giving him free compliments in this video anyway, because he's a pretty good game maker. So let's get on to the review. seen Gouache game reviews before, um, our factors for um, this game, or any game, is if the gameplay is good, and if it's jamming, because it makes sense with initials. And since I don't want to spoil the game for you, or um, anybody, if this game gets released, or has been released, like online, because he sent it to me, me personally, and some other friends, I'm not entirely sure if it'll be publicly released, but I, I won't spoil the ending. I've already showed some gameplay, and if it doesn't get released in a while, I might just tell you in a future video. But anyway, let's get to the ratings. For gameplay, I think it's a 10. Like, it's a pretty, pretty solid 10, because it has a lot better mechanics than my game. It obviously took a while. Took a lot of effort, and um, it also had a pretty nice soundtrack. It wasn't originally composed, but he did find some nice pieces of already existing music to put in there. For gaming, it gets a 9.5, okay? Now hear me out. I love this game. It was a pretty great game. It has a satisfying soundtrack. It had great mechanics. Some pretty hard puzzles. But that's where I draw a line. Pretty hard puzzles. And that one annoying one with the mechanics. And, the, and you could only click the mouse. And it was just super annoying. It was the gameplay I showed you at the end. It was the last puzzle. Where you were black dot. It's just my opinion. Because it was raging. And 
it sometimes didn't make sense, but other than that, it's a pretty perfect game, okay? Uh, now it's time to head to the ranks. If you look at these ranks right here, um, you need to obviously tell that Nintendo needs to get the game up. Because the landscape and Stick with Ventura have been stealing away hearts of many fans of Odyssey. And, um, and basically, the landscape was a pretty good game. It couldn't top my game because it was of the highest quality ever, but it beat Super Mario Odyssey, an, an IGN 10 out of 10 rated game. So I would say that's an accomplishment, accomplishment, or compliment. But um, anyway, that should be all for this review. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. It's here. If you like the video, like the video. If you want to see more content from Google Josh, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to leave a comment. And praise me.